All right, coming back to our last mystery problem that we solved in the last video, uh, we're going to deal with the exact same um, mystery method here, but we're going to be dealing with t uh, two more different arrays here. Um, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, and then we've also got the second array, minus 4, 16, 9, 1, 64, 25, 36, 4, 9. So let's deal with the first array here. I'm actually going to copy it and I'm gonna paste it here um, because I just want to reference it. So we've taken in the list and the list the array list just so happens to be this. Now what is the size of this thing? Well let's count first. So 10, 1, 20 is at 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah yada yada. And you guys know how to count. Um, so our list size is equivalent to 6. So, what we're really testing here is i going to be less than 6. Now, okay, so we're starting through our for loop here. We get to this first position here. We're going to store a value in our local variable called element. And this is going to get um, the position at i. Now, in this case, list.get at 0 is going to be equivalent to 10 because it's zero base indexing. Now let's just um, for simplicity's sake um, just say because we know what we're incrementing um, i by each time we're going to say i goes from zero to four and it never actually reaches the six because once i equals six we fail this testing right here. So we're starting off with the first iteration of this loop. So list.get at zero is equivalent to ten. Now list.remove of i of ten. Now like in the last video, basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be saying, okay, we're removing the ten from the very front of the list and we're changing the size. Yada yada. So we know that we get something along the lines of let's see. Lines of twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and sixty. Oops. Got a, little, got a little uh keyboard happy there. And then we want to add the element to the very back of the list. So once again, because we're putting it back in, we're saying, okay, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and back to 10. Now, the second iteration here, um, we go to we increment i by plus equals two, so i is now equivalent to two, and we want to get the element or we want to get the data at position two. Now that's going to be our 40 here. So let's put that here. This is our second run. It's 40. We're going to remove the 40 from the list. So what's end up, what this is going to end up looking like is we're going to take this right here. We're going to paste it here and we're going to remove the 40. The 40 does not exist. Bye-bye. <laughs> no middle-aged people here, I guess. Uh <laughs> And so we remove it from there, so we end up getting something that looks like this. Now, we add the element back into the list. In this case, 40 was um, the element, or the value that was stored in element. Now, we go back in this case. Now, i is equivalent to 4. Passes our test, so we're going to say list.get at 4 um, of our new list here, this new list. So we say, okay, this is 0, that's 2, that's 3. Now, no, zero, <laughs> one, two, three, and then the 10 should be four. So basically what we're saying is we're grabbing the 10 again, and we're going to say, all right, let's take this list, let's put it here, but in this case, we're removing the 10. The 10 no longer exists because it just so happened to have been in that spot that we didn't want to deal with. And then we decide that we want to go back to it because we realized our life was so distraught without that element in there. So we decide to add it to the very back of the list. So this ends up being the solution to that question here. So if we put it back here, uh, the answer becomes this is our solution. 20, 30, 50, 60, 40, and 10. Now let's deal with the second portion here, or the second problem say answer. We don't have the answer yet. So in this we basically do the same thing. 
we start with the size of our list and we say, oh, this is a much larger list. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is a size of nine. Now, in this case, our test is gonna go up until i is less than or less than nine. If i happens to be nine or greater, then the test fails and we get out of this loop. So what we know is Let's get to this here, um, the list.get. Remember, list.get can never go past nine or it can never be nine. So we're gonna actually start at zero, two, four. Um, I should just copy and paste this, but oh well. List.get at four equal blah. Uh, list.get at six. Yeah, it would be so much faster if I just kind of pasted this. List.get at eight. Yada yada. Okay, so we're gonna be dealing with this. Uh, this is no longer true. This is no longer true for the array that we're looking at. So we have this array here, and um, I'm gonna put it right here. Eh, no, I won't put it anywhere actually. So what we want to do is we want to grab the first element here. So the element that we find at position zero is gonna be minus four. And we actually cannot deal with any of these other cases of list.get because we are actually going to be switching the positions of the elements in the list. I forgot to mention that before. So element is now currently storing 4. What happens when we remove the element at 9? Well, we end up getting an array that looks something like this. And what happens when we add it to the very back? Well, we're adding elements. So we say, okay, we take our list, let's go through it, minus 4 is going to be added to the back of the list. Okay, now our whole thing updates. So we're dealing with, ooh, we're dealing with this. We're not dealing with that. Um, so now we look at two. Um, position two, we're going to say, okay, we're going to skim over it. This is zero, this is two, one, and then two contains the value one. So we're going to take this thing that we had with a minus four at the very end, we're going to remove um, the i value, which happens to be the 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, reprint the whole thing with a minus 4. And then we're going to add the element back in. Yada, yada, so forth. We run through this a whole bunch of times. We eventually get to this testing case at 8. And we do that. We get to the testing case here. And we find that eventually i starts to become 10 and then we fail this whole thing we get out of the whole printing we, I mean we get it out of the whole for loop and we actually end up getting an answer like this like the following 16 9 64 25 4 I'm actually gonna start using the yeah there we go <laughs> 1, 36, and minus 4. And that's what the end of, the whole thing ends up looking like. Um, so that's our answer to this problem. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed a certain pattern here, but there is definitely a pattern. Um, when we looked at the first answer here, we noticed that the 20 gets shifted over to the 1's position, the 30 gets shifted over, um, then the 50 gets shifted over, and then the 60 gets shifted over. Now, if you guys noticed, um, a little sly thing here is because we're increasing i by plus equals 2, notice that we're taking this value, we're changing it, we're changing its location, then we skip over 2, and then we deal with this, change its position, then we skip over 2, and then we end up getting something like this. Now, this so happens to be the exact same thing in this case because we're dealing with the same mystery method. Uh, we start at minus 4, move it to the very back, then what we end up doing is we say, okay, um, after that all shifts, we're taking the 1, we're shifting it to the very back, then we're uh, dealing with it again, the 36 gets shifted to the very back. Notice the only things we're changing are the minus 4, the 1, in the 36. Those are the only positions we're changing. If you can actually um, tell the order there, then you'll do fine. Uh, you'll notice that the minus 4 and the first element always gets pushed to the very back, 
the second element that's looked at ends up becoming um, coming one space after the last element that we end up looking at here. And I guess that's just a pattern that I noticed here, and I'm not sure if that's helpful or not, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you